Good afternoon, and welcome to the 66th commencement exercises of McQuaid Jesuit, as today marks the culmination of a journey for the 130 young men of the class of 2023. We are grateful both for your presence here and for your respect. It is now my great privilege to present the McQuaid Jesuit class of 2023. Please remain standing for our invocation and the national anthem. I invite Mr. Nathan Drams, Director of Retreats and Worship, to offer our invocation. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus, 
we gather with grateful hearts as we celebrate commencement this day. We ask you to send forth your spirit and blessing upon all those gathered for this special celebration and those who have supported these graduates in their educational journey. Bless parents and family members who have generously supported the class of 2023 during their time at McQuay Jesuit. They are their son's first and primary teachers. Bless the faculty, administration, and staff of McQuay Jesuit. Renew us in our mission to form young men of conscience, competence, and compassion. Finally, Lord, we ask your special blessing upon the class of 2023. As they embark from McQuay Jesuit on the great journey of life, may they remember the brotherhood they shared and confidently move on to college and beyond. Strengthen their commitment to be men who are religious, loving, intellectually competent, open to growth, and committed to justice. No matter where you lead them, may they be men with and for others. Ad maiorum dei gloriam, for the greater glory of God. St. Francis Xavier, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Good afternoon. Today, this magnificent space plays host to the 66th commencement exercises of McQuaid Jesuit. Since our opening in 1954, members of the Society of Jesus and their colleagues have sought to instill the distinctiveness of Jesuit education in the young men of the greater Rochester area. In the profile of the Jesuit graduate at graduation, we describe the characteristics that we hope mark the young men who earn McQuaid Jesuit diplomas. They are intellectually competent, open to growth, religious, loving, and committed to doing justice. We know that they are not fully formed, for that will take a lifetime, but we do believe they are well on their way. In their own time at McQuaid Jesuit, 
Members of the class of 2023 have not only acquired the skills and knowledge necessary for success in college and in life, but they have developed a worldview which invites them to see God in all things. And so in service to their creator and in the footsteps of Ignatius of Loyola, we finally send them out to strive for God's greater glory in each moment and in each activity of their lives. They are called to follow the example of Jesus Christ, to be men with and for others. It is the development of this consciousness, this experience, which we celebrate today and gives special significance to the McQuaid Jesuit Diploma. On behalf of Mr. Thomas D'Antonio, Chair of the Board of Trustees, Mr. F Father Philip Judge of the Society of Jesus, President, and members of the administration, I welcome you to the 66 commencement exercises of McQuaid Jesuit. I now invite Nicholas Deke Howlett, a member of the class of 2023, to offer his reflection. Well, this is pretty awesome, right? We're about to graduate. Welcome to all parents, guests, and important people who I still don't understand what you do for our school. I want to thank you all for the role you have played in getting each of us here today. You parents and families have done a lot for us. Between spending late nights doing our science projects for us and bailing us out of t a test by writing us a note for an appointment, some of you should probably be up here receiving this diploma instead of us. But somehow, we're all here. One of my favorite Japanese philosophers, Franklin Grego, once said, a frog in the well knows nothing of the sea. This quote has nothing to do with my speech. Doesn't it sound cool, though? You now might be wondering why I was chosen to speak to you here today. <laughs> well, I'm wondering the same thing. I definitely wasn't chosen for being at the top of my class. Trust me, though, I would have been if I didn't get senioritis halfway through junior year. But I guess I'll have to do since all these other guys are too scared to get up here. When people talk about McQuaid, you always hear words like brotherhood, passionate, loyal, daddy's money. <laughs> to me, all of these are true about McQuaid. <laughs> but, but I think of a different word when talking about this special place, family. To many people, School is just a place that you go to for six hours a day and then go on with your life after those afternoon announcements that no one listens to. Not at McQuaid. There is so much more to this school than just the academics. Being able to take part in sports or activities, such as retreats and class trips, helped me build my relationship with my brothers and taught me invaluable life skills that simply cannot be taught in a classroom. Coming into McQuaid as a wimpy sixth grader, just the task of answering a question in front of my class was daunting to me. But here I am today, speaking at graduation. It was important for me to have people around me that truly cared about me, like a family. The first time that I truly experienced this McQuaid brotherhood was back in sixth grade. Back then, I was a shy and unconfident kid who struggled with anxiety. It got to the point where I was too anxious to go into school. And after about two weeks, I finally had to go back. As I sat in that guidance office, anxious as ever, one of my brothers, Bobby McCann, who's up here today with me, walked through that door and helped me get through that hard time. This was just one of countless times my brothers were there for me. When I've fallen, they've picked me up. In my darkest moments, they were my guiding light. One of Coach Bobby Bates's many, many values that he has built the football program around is family, which in Coach's words is short for, forget about me, I love you. This class is such an unselfish group of guys. 
They truly embody what it means to put others before themselves. Whether it was giving a brother in need the answers to a test, or calling a friend out of school acting like their dad, this class has been there for each other when we need it the most. You know, I think it's symbolic that these guys are sitting here behind me. They've always had my back. Whether on the football field, in the classroom, or here today as I give this speech, each and every one of them has been there for me. But I guess that's what family does, right? While this idea of family is such a big part of the McQuaid experience, I try to make out what else it is that makes McQuaid such a special place. Sure, the rigorous academics and the values that McQuaid instills in its students create such a special environment, but there's something else to it, something that cannot be described. It's intangible. There's a special spirit to McQuaid that you feel just by entering this school. Whether you've been here for seven years or just two, you know exactly what I'm talking about. From the moment I walked into those doors at an open house, back when I was in third grade, I told my mom that I was going to go to McQuaid. Even as a little kid, I knew that the school was special and that it would change my life forever. This school wouldn't be the way it is, though, without this class. The class of 2023. Between all the guys who have stuck it out since sixth grade, the ones who randomly appeared throughout high school or even reappeared, Bodie Whaley, <laughs> this is a very special group of guys. The countless memories that this class has shared made it very difficult for me to pick out certain moments that highlight our class's journey to being here on this stage. Take, for example, our eighth grade class trip to Toronto. I think we can all agree that this was one of the most memorable experiences we shared. Although, it probably wouldn't have been so memorable if it weren't for the mystery of who threw the water bottle. I know Mr. Rosedale's still trying to figure that one out. Nate Coons, question mark? I know that would be a shock to no one. <laughs> or, in ninth grade, when we welcomed exchange students Ming Chen Liu and Eric Tang. This class would not be the same without these two guys who always bring a smile to our faces. You know, I wish there was a way to go back and relive all the great times we had together. All the good and the bad, the laughter and the tears. I wouldn't trade it for anything, and I would do it all over again in a heartbeat. And as much as I would like to stand up here and reveal that I'm not actually leaving and will be returning to McQuaid in the fall as a fifth year senior, <laughs> I can't. That's just not how life works. Graduating from McQuaid does not mean it's the end of this family or that we won't make more great memories. Rather, it's just the beginning. McQuaid was never meant to be the destination. The goal is not to come here and have it be the highlight of our lives. McQuaid is meant to pull something out of us, get us to become the men we are meant to be, the men that God created us to be. I know that God brought me to the school for a reason. He brought all of us here for a reason. And that's so that we can realize the lasting impact we can have on others, that we can contribute to something bigger than just ourselves. Our goal in life should not be to have success or wealth, but rather to have significance. When Father Greg Boyle, founder of Homeboy Industries, came to our school this year to give a talk, he said something that really stuck with me. He said, McQuaid is not the place you come to, it's the place you go from. And as we walk across this stage here today and go on with the next chapter in our lives, no matter how far or near we may end up, that brick building back on 1800 South Clinton Ave will always be our home. But we must understand the responsibility we hold and the privilege we have earned. It is now our turn to set fire upon the earth. Thank you all for the great memories and the lifetime family I now have. And I wanna give a special thanks to the woman who taught me everything I know. I would not be the man I am today if it weren't for you, Mom. You have been there for me every step of the way. You sacrificed so much for me, 
and have shown me what is truly important in life. I'm forever, gra forever grateful for you, and I love you, Mom. Now, I leave you with a quote from our very own Coach Dan Bates. I love the class of 2023. <laughs> Thank you, Deke out. I now invite Mr. Daniel Herschel, Dean of Academics, to the podium for the awarding of honors. The members of this graduating class have been recipients of local, state, and national awards and recognition. I ask each student to stand in place as I describe the honor that has been received. Please hold your applause until all of these awards have been announced. For dedicated service to their church through contributions of time and effort in parish work, the Roman Catholic Diocese of Rochester Hands of Christ Award has been presented to Anthony DeMarco, Nicholas Figaro, Roger Friedlander, Vincenzo Gelsomino, Henry Gerstner, John Geis, Andrew O'Neill, Joseph Piccolo, Anthony Puccio, Brennan Catella, Joseph Reformat, Colin Shanahan, Matthew Vita, Theodore Witkowski, commended student status in the National Merit Scholarship Program was awarded to Nicholas Marangola, Edward Hoffmeister, John Geis, Philip Fry, Daniel Dancuda. The McQuaid Jesuit Drama Award was presented to Sean Beachy. The John Philip Souza Band Award was presented to Christopher Devlin. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award was presented to Sean Devlin. The National Award for Chorus was presented to Raymond Worth and Yeshua Alba. The National Award for Orchestra was presented to Colin Brown. The Music Department Award for Outstanding Percussionist was presented to Samuel Stone. And the winner of the Pamela Stoffel Senior Speech Competition and Scholarship was Nicholas Howlett. The class of 2023 has distinguished itself in service to others as well as in academics. St. Ignatius Loyola said, love manifests itself in deeds, not just in words. The class of 2023 performed more than 14,000 hours of community service during their high school careers. We thank you and applaud you for your generous work and your commitment to be men for others. For demonstrating qualities of character, scholarship, leadership, and service, the National Honor Society has granted membership to 41 seniors. Their names are indicated in the program. I ask that these students also rise and stand in place. We congratulate all of these students for their efforts. We also have a group of 54 seniors whose careers at McQuaid began a full seven years ago when they arrived as sixth graders back in the fall of 2016. I now ask those graduates who have been with us at McQuaid since sixth grade to stand in place to be recognized. Each year, there are sports awards given to members of the graduating class. The Sportsmanship Award is given to the student who, through his participation in interscholastic athletics,
has demonstrated to coaches and teammates and to visiting players and spectators the highest standards of good sportsmanship and fair play. The University Award is presented to the student who has made an outstanding accomplishment in both athletics and academics, demonstrating the harmony and achievability of excellence in both physical and mental pursuits. I ask the recipients of these awards to come forward now and receive replicas of the trophies permanently inscribed in the school. The winner of the Sportsmanship Award is Gavin Brownlee. The winner of the University Award is Anthony DeMarco. This past spring, for the 62nd time, our school newspaper, The Lance, sponsored balloting for the award of Night of the Year. When originally announced, it was described in part, The Lance feels that somewhere among the seniors, there is a man who, by his knightly spirit, enthusiasm, and general character, deserves to be called Night of the Year. He should be a man prominent in his studies and in school activities. The student body voted and the winner was named during our awards assembly in April. I invite him to come forward to receive the replica of the trophy permanently inscribed in the school. McQuaid Jesuits 2023 Knight of the Year is Stephen Gerace. Special awards are presented to students who have distinguished themselves by their outstanding work in various subject areas. We ask each recipient to come forward. An award for academic achievement in the study of mathematics is given to Daniel Dancuda. Dexter Perkins Prize from the University of Rochester for distinguished work in the study of history is presented to Joseph Piccolo. An award for academic achievement in the study of science is given to John Geis. An award for academic achievement in the study of English is given to Robert McCann. The St. Ignatius Award is given to the senior who, in the judgment of the religious studies faculty, demonstrates outstanding achievement in the academic study of religion, as well as models himself in and out of school on the life of Jesus. The St. Ignatius Award for 2023 is presented to Bennett Thomas. A Silver Key Award for achieving the second highest average at McQuaid Jesuit for four years in all subjects is given to John Geis. A Gold Key Award for achieving the highest average at McQuaid Jesuit for four years in all subjects is given to Michael Herboe. I 
I now invite up Mr. Thomas D'Antonio, Chair of the McQuaid Jesuit Board of Trustees, for some special recognitions. Good afternoon. Congratulations to our graduates. Congratulations to their families and friends and all in attendance. Um, as uh, Dan said, I'm Tom D'Antonio, and I'm privileged to serve as the current chairperson of McQuaid's Board of Trustees. Today we celebrate an important milestone with our graduating seniors. We salute them. We salute their families. We salute their friends. But we would be remiss if we did not also take a moment to publicly acknowledge and thank two important leaders in our community, Father Phil Judge and Mr. Adam Baver as they transition from their current roles at McQuaid Jesuit. Father Phil has served our community as a scholastic, as principal, and then as president, a true Jesuit triple crown. Among his many accomplishments during his tenure with us, perhaps most importantly, Father Phil's calm, reasoned leadership, supported by our determined first-class faculty, provided great support to the entire McQuaid community during the once-in-a-century pandemic we endured. Even now, it's hard to recall just how harrowing a time it was for all of us. But while virtually all other schools struggled mightily to find their footing, McQuaid Jesuit did not. Our school convened safely and in person literally every day during the 2020-2021 academic year and at all times thereafter. Father Phil's leadership provided stability and enhanced markedly the quality of our instruction. Most of all, his leadership allowed us to move forward as we always have, together, as a community, not alone and not isolated. For all of us, that continues to be a gift that enhances our personal, spiritual and emotional well-being. In this and many other ways, Father Phil has been the leader for our time who helped us all meet the moment. As a result, at our May meeting, the trustees voted unanimously to designate our Academic Counseling Center as the Philip Gerard Judge Academic Counseling Center. The commemorative plaque outside the entrance summarizes Father Phil's many contributions over many years to our community. In relevant part, it reads, first arriving at McQuay Jesuit in the summer of 1986, Philip G. Judge S.J. had an immediate impact on all aspects of school life. A teacher of English and theology, he led the very first EMOS retreat, was a mainstay of myriad school events, and coached a resurrected speech and debate program to tremendous success on the local, regional, state, and national levels. Returning to 1800 South Clinton as principal in the summer of 2000, Father Judge led McQuay during a period of expanding school enrollment, high academic achievement, spiritually and personally formative retreat experiences, burgeoning co-curricular activities, and dominant athletic success. Father Judge returned to McQuaid once more in 2020 as our, as our president, deftly leading the school through the challenges created by a worldwide pandemic and thereby helping to ensure both the health and safety of the McQuaid community, as well as the uninterrupted academic and spiritual growth of McQuaid Jesuit students. In so doing, Father Judge helped McQuaid not only endure, but continue to excel in forming great men who, in the Ignatian tradition, go forth to set fire upon the earth. Father Judge, a sincere thank you from the entire McQuaid Jesuit community, and Godspeed. Adam Baber's strength and skill as a leader comes from his personal connections to all those he serves. He is cherished by students and staff alike for his genuine warmth and approachability. A true principal of the people, Adam was seldom away from the McQuaid community 
and rarely did he stay in his office for more than 15 minutes at any given time. A school vacation simply meant that Mr. Baber would be joining a group of McQuaid students on a service trip, helping those in desperate need of support. Most nights of the week, he can be spotted at McQuaid's sporting contests, school events, plays, and concerts. His musical talents enrich theater performances and liturgies alike, just like today, today's baccalaureate mass where he played the piano so beautifully for all of us. Adam Baber also guided the school through many significant changes and unique challenges over these past eight years. Nearly a thousand new technological devices and many thousand more technological headaches entered the building through McQuaid's one-to-one -one iPad program. The campus expanded physically with the addition of the wonderful new Wegman Family STEM Center, among many other improvements. The role of mission and ministry was elevated as the student service and retreat programs expanded. And of course, along with Father Judge, Mr. Baber managed the school with a steady hand through the years-long disruption caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. While well, the specific accomplishments and advancements that McQuay Jesuit achieved during Adams' eight-year tenure were indeed many and varied, undoubtedly his most important contribution was his commitment to our Ignatian identity and to McQuaid's educational and spiritual mission. Adam Baber understands the ideals and philosophy of Jesuit education at a deep, intrinsic level, and the importance of the Jesuit values imbued by that education to a world in dire need of moral and ethical citizens. Adam lives those values each day with a profound authenticity. And it is not insignificant that Adam, at long last, also figured out how to regularly defeat the Little Irish on the gridiron. Put simply, when it comes to the key hallmark of a Jesuit education known as Cura Personalis, Adam Baber gets it. And he has helped all of us in this community get it as well. Thank you, Mr. Baber. These two exceptional men and four others, men for and with others, I'm sorry, have assisted you graduating seniors in fulfilling the profile of the Jesuit graduate at graduation, being men who are intellectually competent, loving, religious, open to growth, and committed to justice. And while Father Phil and Mr. Baber may have diplomas from Regis and Canisius, they are and always will be McQuay Jesuit Knights. May I ask you for a round of applause for both Father Phil and for Adam Baker. Thank you, Tom. Over 40 years ago, two handbooks on ex effective practice for teachers and administrators were published for use in all the Jesuit high schools of the United States. One section states that the kind of teacher that a person becomes will depend on the kind of person one is. It identifies such a person as one motivated by principle, balanced in judgment, governed by a sense of justice, possessing self-confidence, humility, and humor, and demonstrating understanding, patience, and determination. Today, we honor four members of the McQuaid Jesuit community whose contributions and dedication embody these qualities. Each will receive our Bene Marente Award, the traditional honor for meritorious service presented to those who have given 20 years of dedication to students, faculty, staff, and parents. Ms. Norma Nesmith of our facilities department can be described most accurately as genuine. Ms. Nesmith's presence and impact has reached far beyond McQuaid's physical plant. A devoted member of the McQuaid Jesuit family, Ms. Nesmith's daily presence at McQuaid is one of warmth, kindness, and generosity. At the end of the school day, when classes have ended and students and adults are heading home or off to other activities, Ms. Nesmith arrives home to 1800 South Clinton, where her care for our students, our staff, and our campus begins each day with diligence and commitment. A self-described people person, it is common to find Ms. Nesmith 
Nesmith engaging in warm conversations with people as she works her way throughout the school, making certain that when students, faculty, and staff arrive the following morning, they begin their day in a bright and clean building that conveys a simple message of welcome to your school for the start of a new day. Never too busy to lend a hand, Ms. Nesmith, Ms. Nesmith, Ms. Ms. Nesmith excuse me, has helped hundreds of students, perhaps being locked out of a classroom in which they left their books or misplaced their belongings, needed help finding them so their parents didn't get upset with them, or simply in need of a smiling face to brighten their day. Ms. Nesmith has been a wonderful presence in our daily lives, and her strong sense of family extends beyond McQuaid. Whether spending precious time with her godchildren, treasure Tobias, traveling, or relaxing with family and friends, or enjoying time with her best friend in the world, her mother, Ms. Nesmith demonstrates devotion to family, and she is a blessing to our McQuaid Jesuit family. When asked to describe Ms. Nesmith, McQuaid colleagues used the words honest, lovable, devoted, kind, 100% fabulous, and amazing. She will give you the shirt off your, her back. A woman who embodies the ideals of Jesuit education and Christian life, and who inspires and brings joy to anyone who meets her for 20 years of service, we present the Benny Morente Award to Ms. Norma Nesmith. And I have to mention a little birdie before the ceremony told me that uh, tomorrow is Norma's birthday. So we, a day early, we've got a couple thousand here to wish you happy birthday. <laughs> Mr. Jeff Griffa's arrival to McQuay Jesuit was initially one of uncertainty. Although with degrees and experience in psychology and counseling, Mr. Griffa shared that, quote, I didn't think I would get hired because I felt like I was in a confessional during my interview with Father Robleski. Well, evidently, Mr. Griffa confessed that day to being a devoted counselor and a man of conscience, competence, and compassion. And he would quickly join the McQuaid Jesuit family. Mr. Griffa immediately became a formative presence in student life. He also became Coach Griffa to hundreds of student athletes over the years. His expertise in coaching has spanned from working with wide receivers and defensive backs to training future individual and team sectional champions in long jump, triple jump, high jump, shot put, discus, and 400 meter hurdles. Additionally, as the coordinator of services for students with disabilities, Mr. Griffa, Mr. Griffa has guided the students of McQuaid to academic success while raising awareness and support of student needs and challenges. He served as the director of the guidance department from 2008 to 2010, leading the department through a period of transition and growth. A lifelong learner, Mr. Grippa enrolled at Boston College's Advanced Institute for Jesuit Studies. He literally walked the footsteps in the footsteps of St. Ignatius Loyola following his journey from Spain to Rome, thus deepening his love for and understanding of the history of the Society of Jesus. Most recently, he made the spiritual exercises after which he stated, I have identified the characteristics and values that guide me in my work and give me something to strive for each day. As a counselor, coach, retreat leader, service trip leader, and as a devoted husband to Abby and father to Daxton and Stellan, it is indeed with honesty, humility, compassion, and courage that Mr. Griffa begins and ends each day and has mentored the young men of McQuaid Jesuit. Though Mr. Griffa has received numerous accolades over his career as a counselor, a coach, a rookie of the year, a musician, and an outdoorsman, it is for today's recognition of 20 years of service that we present him with the Bene Brente Award.
Mr. Bill Hockadell came to 1800 South Clinton and immediately became omnipresent in student life. His commitment to excellence in all that he undertakes is evident as he has been a leader and mentor for the Met of McQuaid in and out of the classroom through student activities and through so many other aspects of school life. Indeed, Mr. Hockadell has been a steadying and driving presence in our science department, teaching advanced placement biology, creating and teaching the courses of forensic science and anatomy and physiology, serving as chair of the science department for many years, helping lead the design of the new science labs and classrooms in the Wegman Center, and moderating multiple clubs devoted specifically to science and medicine. Mr. Hockadell speaks fondly of the great joy and pride that he has felt seeing so many former students pursue careers in science and medicine. To say that Mr. Hockadell has been a direct source of positive impact and mentorship for his students is frankly an understatement. Mr. Hockadell has devoted his career to leading and supporting students to find achievement and success beyond what they initially imagined possible. A master teacher, Mr. Hockadell has challenged students to raise the bar and go beyond what seems possible. As a moderator and retreat leader, Mr. Hockadell has helped students to learn, reflect, discern, and grow as young men for and with others. He's restructured McQuay Jesuit student government, strengthening the leadership opportunities for students and incorporating service and in community engagement. A true renaissance man, Mr. Hockadell has, been, has participated in student retreats, pep rallies, masses and assemblies at the helm of our executive council and of the science department. And as the moderator of the quilting club, as the inspiration behind the creator of, uh, excuse me, as the inspiration behind and the creator of Purple Thursdays. And of course, as the stalwart impenetrable wall for 15 years as the goalie of the faculty floor hockey team on Z days. Living by the maxim that no challenge is too great and no job is too small, Mr. Hockadell has been a living example of selflessness and devotion. A golf enthusiast, Mr. Hockadell has been a mainstay alongside his father as members of the staff and stewards at Oak Hill Country Club, sharing smiles and memories with so many McQuay Jesuit alums over the years. And yet, amidst all the achievements, accolades, and memories, Mr. Hockadell does not hesitate to speak of who and what is most proud. The handshakes and hugs he shared with his sons, Jacob and Zachary, when he presented them with their McQuay Jesuit diplomas. For 20 years of service, we present the Benny Morente Award to Mr. Bill Hockadell. Having lived in California, Tennessee, New York, and Hong Kong, Mr. Scott Simpkins path led him to Rochester, where he brought with him his degrees and experience in computer science, biology, and chemistry, and joined us as a webmaster and a member of the computer science department. Since that time, Mr. Simpkins has been at the vanguard of growing the department, including most recently helping to design and transition to the school's state-of-the-art Wegman Center. Mr. Simpkins has been one of the founding teachers of McQuaid's engineering program, chaired the computer science department, taught across all grade levels, redesigned the school's website, and has ushered in the growth of department course offerings from five when he arrived to 13, including the creation and instruction, instruction of the courses in animations, architectural design and drafting, computer game design, introduction to engineering design, Introduction to Image Editing, our Technology and Engineering Seminar for Freshmen, and Web Programming. His reach and impact have extended far beyond the classroom. He has served as moderator for the Computer Club, Curling Club, Game Design Club, and Middleman Messenger, coached JV Tennis, chaperoned school trips and events, and led service trips to Western Massachusetts and Ecuador. A proud father and devoted husband, Mr. Simpkins, has had three sons walk the halls of McQuay Jesuit. Whether curling, skiing, snowboarding, running, 
gardening, reading, watching movies, playing board or video games, golf and tennis, or traveling to 15 countries. Mr. Simpkins cherishes the precious times he has enjoyed with his family and friends, including finishing the, finishing the Chicago Marathon in 2012. A man for and with others for 20 years of service, we present the Benny Marente Award to Mr. Scott Simpkins. Ms. Nesmith, Mr. Griffa, Mr. Hockadell, and Mr. Simpkins, thank you, and God bless you, for God has truly blessed McQuaid Jesuit and all of us with you. I now invite Roger Friedlander, a member of the class of 2023, to offer his reflection. I was planning for a dramatic entrance, um, but limping to the podium with a busted up ACL wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Looking back on his 11 year Formula One career, race car driver Daniel Ricciardo wished he could give this advice to his younger self. Enjoy the butterflies, enjoy being naive, enjoy the nerves, the pressure, if you want to stand on top from day one, then there's nothing else to look forward to. Enjoy the process of making a name for yourself and meeting some great people along the way. Stay focused. Don't veer too far off your path. Keep trying to build and grow and learn from yourself, but don't forget what got you here. I believe this quote applies almost perfectly to our experience in high school and our transition to life after McQuaid. As we wait here at commencement for our diplomas and look ahead to the promise of new opportunities and challenges, let us recall how our own McQuaid experiences commenced. After all, the duality of the term commencement reminds us that our promising futures would not have come about without our own beginnings when we too felt the butterflies, the naivety, and the pressure that Ricciardo alludes to. Shortly after the class of 2023's first meeting in the Father Salmon Chapel, we were introduced to the characteristics of the graduate at graduation. Surely, with these formidable expectations for who we would become over the next several years, we felt the nerves. Being the youngest students in a school with several decades of alumni who left behind impressive legacies, nerves were a natural response to this pressure. However, with focus and a desire to grow, we have collectively recognized the value of the process of becoming a McQuaid Jesuit man. Through academics, we have become intellectually competent. Through service, we have learned to be loving and committed to doing justice. And finally, through retreats, mass, and the sacraments, we have gained religious experience. And finally, through our classmates and teachers who pushed us to be the be very best versions of ourselves, we have seen the benefits of and necessity for being open to growth. While we've always known that the McQuaid Brotherhood would stick with us long after graduation, these characteristics remind and ensure us that our lives after McQuaid are guided by a solid moral compass, leading us as men for and with others as we continue our individual journeys. Furthermore, the meeting some great people along the way portion of Ricciardo's quote is especially pertinent to our McQuaid experience. Everyone knows about the McQuaid Brotherhood and the lifelong relationships that we form with one another that go beyond graduation and high school reunions. Additionally, many students recognize the support of teachers who genuinely care about them, as seen in the classroom and through retreat experiences. However, shouldn't we also consider the various members of our school and religious communities that have blessed our class with their wisdom? Sometimes we forget these leaders' significance in the formation of our bonds as a class and I think it is important for us to examine some of the insight that one such leader offered to the class of 2023. Visiting us on two separate Xavier Days during our time as Knights, Father Greg Boyle of Homeboy Industries taught us about extending God's grace to all people. He stressed to us the importance of rebuilding communities that have been plagued by gang violence and a lack of resources. Additionally, and as Nick mentioned in his speech, 
Father Boyle reminded us of our roles as future leaders in the community when he said, don't think for a second that McQuaid is where you've come to. It was always going to be the place you go from. And you go from here to imagine a circle of compassion, and then you imagine no one standing outside that circle. As Ricciardo said, our journeys are not always about standing on top. Rather, we should, we should strive to stand with. This collective focus on being the driving force of compassion in our surrounding communities is just one example of how we can live ad maiorum dei glorium for the greater glory of God. It is no secret that our principal, Mr. Baber, has been one constant in a high school experience filled with many variables such as shifting schedules, modified extracurriculars, and a global pandemic. He has continuously emphasized the importance of using our McQuaid education to become a particular type of person, rather than for the sole purpose of receiving a diploma. In the quote that I started with, Ricciardo recommends enjoying the process of making a name for yourself. Well, it turns out that our preparation at McQuaid did not just help us make a name for ourselves by becoming this particular type of person. Rather, it has developed each of us into the very individual person who God calls us to be. This reminds me of one of the quotes on the wall of a study room in the STEM Center from St. Catherine of Siena. Be who God meant you to be and you will set the world on fire. Our dedication to the ideals of McQuaid has fostered a class of gifted athletes, talented artists and musicians, passionate service servants in the community, and devoted students who are certainly prepared to set the world on fire. While reflecting on my time at McQuaid, of course I recall the baseball state championship victory, historic hockey season, and celebrations of academic achievement. However, the memories that stick with me most happened on retreat especially when Matt Vita and I went undefeated in spike ball against Henry Koch and Nick Boeff. Seriously though, it is impossible to convey the emotions I, like so many others, felt while experiencing those signs of God's friendship on retreat from teachers, family, and peers. While on retreat, one teacher offered me the best compliment a person could ever receive, that she hopes her future kids will turn out just like me. While I struggled to express how this made me feel in that moment, I have come to realize that it is interactions like these that, make, that truly make McQuaid special. Today marks a singularly significant moment of transition in our still young lives, lives which will diverge from here and be marked by an increasingly diverse set of goals, experiences, accomplishments, and contributions. And yet, wherever this journey takes each of us, Upon reflecting on our career at McQuaid and life after high school years from now, I hope that we, like Ricciardo, will always recall the nerves, reflect on the joys, and remember, how, remember to inspire the next generation of leaders. In closing, after seven years, many Simba section roller coaster rides, one running of the bulls, and so much more, I want to acknowledge this. God has blessed me in so many ways throughout my life and especially with two great parents, one amazing sister, and now 129 brothers for whom I will be forever grateful. For one last time, thank you, that is all. Thank you, Roger. It is with great pride that we now present the candidates for the McQuaid Jesuit Diploma. I ask that you hold your applause until after each row of candidates has been named. Father Judge, the following students have successfully completed the prescribed course of studies at McQuaid Jesuit, therefore, thereby fulfilling the requirements of the school and of the regents of the University of the State of New York. Benjamin J. Abamante. Abdi 
Abdul Rahman. Yeshua R. Alba, Jr. Noah M. Bash. Sean R. Beachy. Sean R. Benacci. Peter E. Bernacki. Joseph F. Ballone, Jr. Aiden H. Blotter. Nicholas C. Boev. Derek A. Brooks. Colin G. Brown. Gavin Brownlee III. Matthew J. Cancilla. Michael J. Cannon. Luca R. Girmataro. Henry W. Koch. Michael T. Conley. Quinn P. Considine. Nathaniel D. Coons. Daniel Dancuda. Ethan S. Danielak. Santino G. DeLeo. Christopher J. Devlin. Sean M. Devlin. Anthony J. DeMarco, Jr. Joseph A. DeSalvo. Robert F. Evangelista. Maxwell E. Falk. Benjamin A. Fetzner. Nicholas D. Figuero. Rory K. Fitzpatrick. Ian J. Lawrence. <laughs> Preston A. Fort. Kenneth R. Frankovich. <laughs> Philip J. Fry. Brennan S. Garlock. Vincenzo C. Gelsimino. Stephen C. Gerace. Henry L. Gerstner. John G. Geis III. Roger B. Friedlander II.
Ujwal Giri. Utsav Giri. Noah R. Gatko. Kari J. Gulborn Diaz. Wyatt James E. Gray. Connor M. Brownie. Paul F. Guadagna. Paul's diploma is presented by his father, Mr. Paul Guadagna, a member of the McCoy Jesuit Science Department. Hansi Guo. Timothy D. Han. Aiden S. Aiden S. Hanna. Michael T. Verboe, Jr. Eric R. Harama. Zachary K. Hill. Edward P. Hoffmeister. Nicholas J. Howlett. Charles L. Isaac. Benjamin T. Jacobson. Ben, Ben's diploma is presented to him by his father, Mr. Robert Jacobson, a member of the McQuay Jesuit Board of Trustees. <laughs> Jack T. Jensen. Tay I. Jukin. Dagamawe D. Kabidi. Cameron M. Keck. Clarence Keels the Fourth. Brendan J. Keller. <laughs> Reese W. Kelly. Carlos J. Kirkland. Evan R. Kopaz. Jamie C. Costin. Connor M. Cresock. John R. Lighton. Roger G. Leo III. Ming Chen Liu. Joseph F. Lombardo, Jr. Nicholas R. Lind. Nicholas J. 
Marangola. Josh S. Morrow. Robert J. McCann. Nolan T. McCarthy. Owen C. McDonald. Carlo J. McNally. Rocco C. Mena. Casey J. Manasano. Kevin P. Nagel. Daniel P. Newbecker. Andrew C. O'Neill. Drew C. Palmer. Joshua M. Passero. Zachary D. Pelotera. Radu M. Petrescu. Colin J. Petrozelli. Joseph M. Piccolo. Marco S. Pilato. Jack T. Polito. Anthony N. Puccio. Brennan M. Cortella. Joseph D. Reformat. Nyan M. Ruffin. Cameron J. Ryan. Alex C. Saracene. Joshua J. Schofield. Jack M. Schwan. Alexander R. Scott. Jacob R. Seveny. Colin R. Shanahan. Jack D. Sherwood. Daniel E. Shifferoff. Liam M. Sisson. Michael J. Soprano. Michael's diploma is presented by his mother, Mrs. Lisa Soprano, a member of our middle school faculty. <laughs> Michael C. Spiegel. Clayton R. Spuck. <laughs> Dylan P. Stegels Rayom. 
Samuel J. Stone. Maximilian P. Talia. Kaiyi Tang. Bennett D. Thomas. Jackson C. Tuminelli. William N. Ultorino. Matthew C. Vita. Stephen A. Vitello. Raymond J. Worth. Bodie W. Whaley. Shane L. Williams. Theodore D. Witkowski. Garrett W. Wood. Christopher S. Woodard. Christopher's diploma is presented by his father, Mr. Greg Woodard of the McQuaid Jesuit class of 1988 and a member of our Board of Trustees. Jack H. Zazo. Gabriel K. C. Zawalo. <laughs> George P. Zissis. Luke D. Zusick. Ladies and gentlemen, the McQuaid Jesuit class of 2023. I now, invite, I now invite Father Philip Judge of the Society of Jesus to present the Jesuit Schools Network and Bishop Carney Awards. The Jesuit Schools Network is a community whose membership includes the Jesuit high schools of the United States and Canada. The network has established awards to be presented in each of these schools. These awards recognize demonstrated achievement in promoting the values consistent with the ideals of Jesuit education. In part, the citation reads that the recipients should be well-rounded persons who are intellectually competent, open to growth, religious, loving, and committed to doing justice in generous service to the people of God. 2023 Jesuit Schools Network Awards are presented this year to Aidan Blatter and Colin Brown.
the Bishop Carney Award, given in honor of the patron of McQuaid Jesuit, St. Francis Xavier, is the most prestigious award bestowed by McQuaid Jesuit upon a member of the graduating class. It is named for His Excellency James E. Carney, fifth Bishop of Rochester, whose support for Catholic education is legendary. As the ordinary of the diocese at the foundation of McQuaid Jesuit, Bishop Carney took special interest in the newly founded Jesuit school for which he had high expectations. Those expectations are met each time this award is presented, for its recipient is preeminent in all aspects of the McQuaid Jesuit man. The citation states, to the senior who, in the judgment of the faculty, has best represented the ideals of McQuaid Jesuit, exemplary in his living of his faith, outstanding in school spirit and loyalty, prominent in scholastic and extracurricular endeavors, generous and self-sacrificing to a marked degree. This year, the Bishop Carney Award in honor of St. Francis Xavier is presented to Roger Friedlander. offer one final tribute today for the great faith and encouragement given their sons and all of us it is appropriate to commend the parents of the graduates of this class of 2023 For the past 66 years, McQuaid Jesuit has cherished a very special relationship with the Diocese of Rochester. It is one of the greatest gifts we possess. As a sign of our affection for our brothers and sisters of faith, McQuaid Jesuit has invited a local pastor to preside at our commencement exercises since the first class graduated in 1958. Today, we are honored to welcome Bishop Salvatore Matano, ninth Bishop of the Diocese of Rochester, to this stage. It is our hope that by welcoming him, he will know the long-standing regard and affection we hold for him and for the people of his diocese. His Excellency, the Most Reverend Salvatore Matano, Bishop of the Diocese of Rochester. Thank you, Father Judge. And I unite with all here present today to wish Father Judge and Mr. Weber our sincere and prayerful best wishes as they begin still another phase of their lives, thanking God for the many contributions they have made to McQuaid Jesuit. I also extend my congratulations to the graduating class of 2023. I just briefly remind you of the words of Blaise Pascal, a scientist, a mathematician, a philosopher, and some regard him as a renowned theologian. He said there are only two types of people in our world, those who seek God with all their heart because they know him, and those who seek God with all their heart because as yet they do not know him. When you went to that first Algebra I class and learned of that slope intercept form, even though you knew the intercept and where it crossed the y-axis, you would never know how far it extended on either side of that axis. So it represents the human spirit, a spirit that constantly longs to go beyond itself, to reach even unto the heavens. That is who we are as human beings reaching always beyond ourselves to the one we call God. 
And so, my young men, in the lives you have in the years ahead, don't fight that yearning. Always go forward, looking, seeking, searching, O oh God, who will be your greatest and most constant companion throughout all your lives. I wish you every blessing and every success, and I do pray for you. Yours is a world quite conflicted, so very divided, and one where hands no longer are raised to help and to extend peace, but rather in violence, violence that scars and takes lives. We look to you, the class of 2023, to find those answers and those solutions which we of another age have yet to achieve. Yours is an inheritance of outstanding technology, but yours is also an inheritance of a very complex world looking for a moral compass. Keep your eyes on that line that extends into infinity. Recognize the face of Jesus and always let him be your constant companion. And so we pray, O Lord God, protector and guardian of all, we gather this day humbly to invoke your divine blessing upon these your sons, who today have entered still another phase of their lives as the recipients of an education guided and enlightened by our Catholic faith and the sons and associates of St. Ignatius of Loyola. These men, we pray, have come to know more deeply and to appreciate more fully your divine presence among us. We ask, Lord, that they take to heart the words of the sushi pay of St. Ignatius, who prayed, take, O Lord, and receive all my liberty my memory, my understanding, and my entire will. Whatever I have or hold you have given me, I restore it all to you and surrender it wholly to be governed by your will. Give me only your love and your grace, and I am rich enough and ask for nothing more. Heavenly Father, embracing the fruits of humankind's ever-present desire to seek you the source of all truth. May these graduates now continue their life's journey in union with you. Having come to know you as the way, the truth, and the life, may they reflect your presence in our world with a genuine sense of compassion, responsibility, self-sacrifice, justice, and understanding. May they see in the weakest among us the buried treasure of a, stole, of a soul still longing to belong to God. Again, fill them with the same spirit of St. Ignatius who penned these memorable words. For those who love, nothing is too difficult, especially when it is done for love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Filled with joy and memories on this happy occasion, we also recall the words of Cardinal Newman, God has created me to do him some definite service. He has committed some work to me which he has not committed to another. O oh Lord, we pray that these graduates will use their individual gifts and talents to proclaim your holy name and to allow your words of truth to again become flesh among us. For indeed, as the poet Shakespeare says in Hamlet, there's a divinity that shapes our ends. Rough you them how we will. May all they do reflect the motto of the Society of Jesus, Ad Maiorum Dei Gloriam, for the greater glory of God. The time has now arrived for these, your sons, to go forth to assume their place in society through the intercession of St. Ignatius of Loyola, on this the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. May your blessing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit come upon all gathered here today, and may your blessing remain with us now and forever. Amen.
Thank you, Bishop Batano. This concludes our program. Thank you for being with us for this, the 66th commencement exercises of McQuaid Jesuit.